What's going on guys, Bradley Martin here, and today uh, I'm kind of giving you like a, a, it's an arm routine, it's a different spin on an arm routine. Um, the first exercise that I started with is an untraditional arm exercise for sure. Uh, and thanks to just always, always ruling my videos. Ah. All, the, all the people that had to do of everybody. Hey, like it could have been anybody else, but it was you. Hey, but it's a good thing. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Anyways, so the football bar, we started with like untraditional arm exercise. I love it for triceps, um, strength, and also mass, obviously. Um, I did it with a closer than normal. There's a bunch of different handles on this bar. You can go a little wider out. Um, if you guys don't have a bar like that, uh, I'm sorry. You know, get a better gym. No, but really, they should have variations of that kind of bar. They don't have to be as big and as like beastly as that one looks, but um, it's basically you're doing a press like this. So what you could do if you wanted to, is you can use dumbbells to replicate this exercise. So instead of me just showing you an exercise you guys can never do, you'd be like, that's cool, but I can't do it. You can grab some dumbbells and press it in the same fashion where my, my hands are basically facing in. So it's gonna help you get a better tricep contraction if you press it to the top and twist out. So started with that, um, worked up to like 315. It was heavier than I thought, a little bit more unstable. Um, dropped down to 225, repped it out, got the reps easy. Um, really just to get, you know, strength. So my, my main focus on this first exercise was just to build some strength because I haven't done any heavier pressing movements in a while. Um, second exercise, traditional barbell curls with a little bit wider than hip grip. Hip, yeah, hip width grip. Um, in this one, I didn't really go super heavy. I just focused on the contraction, focused on the movement. Uh, went through the full range of motion. And on this exercise, you guys can do it. Keep it simple. I did four sets. And I'm basically trying to hit more than eight reps every every time. The first couple sets, it was lighter, so I got more reps. But every set, I try and hit more than eight. So you don't have to hit like 15, you don't have to hit you know, 10, just try and get eight and then push yourself, challenge yourself. So almost to failure each set, but not true failure because you're gonna do more and more sets. Um, follow that up with a single arm tricep push down, kind of with like a, uh, almost like a uh, external rotation. Um, and the reason for this is that I've always, I've, I mean, me personally, I've always had lacking triceps. Like my triceps are underdeveloped and compared to my biceps, so like the front of my body and um, for me, it's a, it, you know, it's one of those muscle groups that like, I love to train, but like, I hate it because it like looks shitty. But at the end of the day, you guys gotta realize like, fuck it, just, just go for it. Um, the only way for it to get better is just to do it, as you guys already know. So, I also know that unilateral work can help you develop more balance. So, more balance physique. So, if you are always doing tricep press downs with, you know, two hands on the rope or with the bar, um, or, you know, the presses on the, on the bench, all this bilateral stuff, both sides of your body, right? Bilateral movements, you, your, your stronger side always tends to take over. So the reason why I'm breaking down and I'm doing the single arm tricep stuff is because I'm unbalanced. My left side, as you guys can see, like don't tell anybody, like on Instagram or Twitter or anywhere else, that uh, I always take my pictures like this. Like as you can see where you're filming from this, I don't tell anybody. Uh, because my right side, my right tricep, which is ironic because I'm right-handed, but my right tricep is less developed than my, my uh, right tricep is less developed than my left tricep. So the reason why I'm telling you this, guys, is, is that we are all in balance, but whatever, forget it. Point is this, to get balance back, which is something that I know I need to focus on in my triceps and other parts of my body, is that unilateral work, more unilateral work to capture more balance. So instead of having the stronger side overcompensate and take over, you're separating both sides, you're making it work individually. So that's why I put these in there. Um, then moved right to the, uh, the, the rope curls. And these, uh, excuse me, let me go back to the, the tricep thing real quick to give you guys a set and rep idea. Um, I like to do these, not to failure, because it's not the point here, but I like to do them in like, with a lighter weight, really focusing on the contraction, because again, I think sometimes when you're unbalanced, you don't necessarily know how to get the mind muscle connection to the, the weaker side, to the smaller side. So focusing on that connection with the muscle that you think is unbalanced, is gonna better you in the long run so you can develop more balance, right? So a bigger tricep, instead of being bigger here, smaller there. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing these from like, these are four sets, and I'm doing like 15 to 20 reps with a lighter weight, and contract, move the weight with the muscle, not just through the movement. From the tricep, single arm, I move straight to the bicep curl with the rope, and this is just like, every set, I'm just kinda going to failure. So you can do like five sets to complete failure. It's cool, because. 
you guys controlled on the on the rope um, and just what you're doing what i'm thinking about when i'm doing is i'm thinking about letting my hands go out so my elbows are kind of twisted out and then pulling my hand up and twisting my elbows in just the same movement the whole time so my hands are coming out at the bottom let it down all the way out almost like i'm trying to pull the rope apart at the top um, again go to failure each set as much as you can and then the final exercise uh, is another exercise that I was talking about, this whole bilateral, unilateral stuff, working your weaknesses um, individually. We went to a, um, like an elbow supported, shoulder supported, single arm uh, barbell curl, almost like a preacher on one of the benches. You guys probably see people doing this in your gym. Um, the, the, the reason why I like this exercise is that it keeps everything stable. Like you have to stick your, your, your uh, armpit down onto the bench. You basically, the only movement is gonna be on the bicep. So it keeps everything stable. And, and to give you guys a tip when I'm doing it, I'm focusing on, because we're trying to get peak here, I'm focusing on lifting the weight with like the outside of my hand. So I'm focusing on, if I'm curling here, I'm thinking about putting the pressure on the outside of my hand and almost as I'm coming up, turning turning the hand slightly out and away. So if I'm like on the bench, I'm gonna go like this, turn the hand out that way. But I don't wanna say bye. I wanna keep seeing them and stuff in life. And you upload three times a week, you see them enough. Yeah, but I love them. You have Periscope, you have Instagram. You have Instagram, right? What's your Instagram? Instagram is at Bradley Martin. What about your Twitter? Twitter is at Bradley Martin. What about Periscope? Periscope is Bradley Martin. What about your um, Snapchat? Snapchat. This is Bradley Martin. It's all my name. Damn, it can't be a Medium Media one. Dang. And, if, and my Facebook is just slash Bradley Martin, too. <laughs> but like, you know. Just plugs anyway. Just look, super look plug. That plug. Look at that plug. Plug, 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 plug. Oh, and uh, these actually need tanks, too. I might as well plug the tanks for so plugging everything. Like, yeah. I feel like a plumber right now. Uh, these tanks, the gold print, with the being fit on the back. Luke, 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 seriously? Can you, like, I'm trying to close the video out. Oh my God. Okay, so, anyways, these tanks. Oh, I'm going on pre-sale this week. So if you guys see them, uh, I'll post them. They'll be on beinfigure.com. Anyways, shit will be in the description below. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Just stop, bro. Let me, can I sign for you, please? And you always in my stuff. You. All right. Love you guys. See you guys soon. Make sure you find me on all the other social media. I'm there. I'm interacting with you guys. I appreciate the support everywhere, and I love interacting with you guys. Because without you guys, it's just, it just sucks. Hey, we're hurt. Anyway, see you guys soon.